Okay, for example, uh, you want to uh, put some object on other object surface and you need to a tool that it's positioned uh, correctly at the surface of the object. Okay, I will be explaining all of these tools that you can create, landscape, objects, rocks, and just I want to explain <clears throat> these tools that you can drop object on a surface, on a smart drop. And we have, for placing such these things, we have uh, two kind of landscape that you can insert here. Right click to open sub menu and you can insert uh, <clears throat> height field landscape or procedural land uh, train. That I ex uh, in insert a procedural train. Uh, you can select procedural train and if you are in a perspective view, hit F to focus on that. And bring your camera close to your object. Uh, I will be explaining <clears throat> difference between per 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 procedural train and standard train. You can see the details at the near of the camera is high and the other details are lower than this. This is one <clears throat> major important difference between those. Okay, we are going to somewhere that has lots of noise and bumpy things, something like that. Okay, okay, that's nice. <clears throat> and you can simply click to simple preview to see what happened here okay nice and we want to put an object on this it's very simple you can insert for example a simple rock if you click we have a simple rock here that's it's in there okay oh. <clears throat> this is stone and you can focus on it and bring it up oh it's completely inside now it's there <clears throat> you can focus it and now another important use, uh, usage of the procedural train that is <clears throat> near of the camera we can see a lot of detail but the high field, we don't have such that. Well, I will explain the different. Okay, if you uh, hit rotate and, for example, rotate it in this angle, <clears throat> if you want to place it, you have to rotate it and uh, posit change your position. But if you select an object, you can simply drop object uh, on a near surface, and boom, it's just. Uh, <clears throat> position the surface of the object at the, the nearest surface but if you want to completely lay at the surface you can right click smart drop boom and as you can see it's completely laying at the ground and again drop interesting or you can rotate it again <clears throat> at the first you right click and laying down instead of just clicking so we have two kind of uh, comments here drop left click and right click and maybe don't use this often but you can drop object on top of other or the smart button or you can uh, drop camera on a surface if you your camera is too high you can drop it on uh, the surface you can test it and see i don't recommend use this you can by hand manually in these views change the camera height okay uh, you have to select the camera and change the height of camera okay change the height of the camera something like that in different views nice and you can simply drop your camera and you can see it dropped on the surface or you can change the orientation of that so or you can 
Control C and Control V to another. You can drop multiple objects. You can holding Alt to copy them and you can rotate them, something like that. And you can see we select all of them and then right click and automatically uh, laying out to another object. And let's uh, select this. Select somewhere. Select this and right click to smart. <clears throat> You can see it trying to rotate an object to the best of the laying out this object to another. Right click, boom. Another right click. You can right click to uh, put it the best way that you want. Interesting. So these three tools, you can use them. But uh, don't forget if you uh insert bushes trees something like that they are different because they are, uh, we have a root for example we insert this tree and waiting for uh preparing that okay this is our tree where is that it's very at the bottom of the is that yeah oh so small these rocks are so big and you can see if you drop it it's drop just straight the trees are growing just straight the different uh, the tree and bushes are different behavior in drop For example, drop at top view, bring it to the top of this, hit F to focus, make it up, and right click to a smart. You can see left click and right click in the trees does not import anymore because uh, the trees are just straight. And <clears throat> They actually, the root of the trees are completely inside objects, something like this, because imagine they have roots and something like that. So that rocks are too big. Okay. And you, of course you can rotate your tree in any angle that you want, but in a nature we don't have something like this 